And right now with four gunfire ringing out at a popular South Beach hotel, a man shot and killed at the Clevelander on Ocean Drive. Witnesses are telling us that victim is an employee who was shot near the front desk. It's the second deadly shooting on South Beach in as many days. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is live with the latest developments. Rosh. A truly frightening situation where a man simply doing his job gets shot. I'll set this up by saying this. According to Miami Beach police, the suspect in this case tried to get into a nightclub, couldn't get into that nightclub, and then resorted to gunfire. It's the second deadly shooting in two days on Miami Beach, the latest at the Clevelander Hotel early Friday morning. Miami Beach police say Brandon Burris tried to sneak into the nightclub there. After several failed attempts, they say he got into an argument with an employee identified as Dion Moore and shot him dead. Cops say Moore was shot six times. Learned that it wasn't her, it was some young man that checked in at, to work at 12. You can see evidence markers all over the lobby of the Clevelander. No amount of police officers can prevent something like this from happening. Miami Beach police say the suspect actually threw a punch at the victim and the victim walked away only to lose his life. I want our community to know and those visiting us to know that our police will be out there with enhanced enforcement. You're going to see them on Ocean Drive, on Collins Avenue, on Washington Avenue. We're going to have DUI uh, checkpoints and our police is a police that responds quickly. A message to all those visiting Miami Beach after two deadly shootings. In this case, a man simply doing his job when he's shot and killed. And we just got a statement from the Clevelander Hotel. They say they are devastated by what happened to their employee. They are working with the Miami Beach Police Department and their number one priority is the safety and well-being of their guests and employees. We're live on Miami Beach. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. So heartbreaking. Thank you, Rosh.